What's going on guys, it's your boy Boxing Facts Over Fiction. I need you to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. If you haven't already donated, I want you to go ahead and do that right now. The link is in my description section. And also, I put the link in my comment. I pinned it to the top so you can donate if you feel like this video deserves a donation. Appreciate it. Thank you and stay tuned. Vasil Lomachenko versus... Vasil Lomachenko versus Jose Pedraza is a big fight because it's going to show us how Vasil Lomachenko is going to do against the super fight. Vasil Lomachenko versus... Javante Tank Davis. We all know Javante Tank Davis at 22 years old won a title against, won the IBF title against Jose Pedraza by a vicious knockout. And Vasil Lomachenko only has 12 fights, 11 wins, and one loss against Orlando Salido. Um, Vasil Lomachenko has, has impressed me so far. You know, the only fight that I didn't want to see Vasil Lomachenko in was the fight against um, Guillermo Rigondeau because I felt like Guillermo Rigondeau is a small guy. There's no reason he should have been fighting Vasil Lomachenko. But Vasil Lomachenko has impressed me so far, man. Um, I'm not going to lie. I thought the guy was a hype, but the guy's not no hype no more, man. The guy's the real deal. Uh, when we look at his record, he has a lot of big names on there. And uh, the fight with uh, Jorge Linares impressed me. Um, so I got to give Vasil Lomachenko his props. He has a lot of big names on his record. Vasil Lomachenko um, versus Jorge Linares. I knew Vasil Lomachenko was going to win, but I didn't think he was going to stop Jorge Linares. He went in there. He did what he had to do. He hurt his uh, shoulder, and he still was able to rally back against the bigger man and was eventually able to stop him. And it was an amazing fight. And my hat goes off My hat goes off to uh, Vasily Machenko for putting on a show versus Jorge Linares. For the first time, we've seen Vasily Machenko look a little bit vulnerable. Jorge Linares put Vasil Lomachenko down with a straight, right? Vasil Lomachenko hit the canvas, but it was a flash knockdown. He got right up. He looked shocked. But that's what happens when you move up in weight. Um, you fight bigger guys. You eventually become vulnerable. But Vasil Lomachenko showed heart. He showed true grit. He rallied back. And he stopped Jorge Linares. I mean, to win another title in another division. So, Vasil Lomachenko is the real deal, guys. He's not a hype job. He's the real deal. He has the skills to pay the bills. Vasil Lomachenko is a really good fighter. Um, I don't see anybody being Vasil Lomachenko in and around his weight class anytime soon. Jose Pedraza. Um, Jose Pedraza. Um... He was a good fighter. He beat Tevin Farmer. If you guys don't know that. Um, Tevin Farmer is a guy who wants to fight Javante Davis. Javante Davis is a guy who stopped Jose Pedraza. Jose Pedraza rebound his career. Rejuvenated his career. Um, he looks good. He had, he, he had two recent fights that look really The fact that he was able to come back, rebound his career, and win the title against... Ray Beltran sh shows that um, Jose Pedraza is a real fighter, man. He's a dog. I mean, I wanted to see that rematch with uh, Javante Tank Davis. See if he can get his belt back, but looks like he moved up in weight. And he looks good, though. He looks good. But will he look good against Vasil Lomachenko? To be honest, I think this fight is going to be a competitive fight. I think it's going to be a very competitive fight uh, because Jose Pedraza is the bigger man. So, Vasil Lomachenko will have to be on his A game because Jose Pedraza can punch. You know, he, he doesn't have pillow hands like Vasil Lomachenko. 
Guys, Vasily Machenko, I won't, I won't say pillow hands, but he doesn't punch. Vasily Machenko, maybe not pillow hands, but he doesn't punch as hard as the guys in and around his weight class. He just, just a skill boxer, and he just wear you down, just makes you just don't want to compete anymore. It makes you quit. It breaks you down. But, um... Like I said, the fight could be a competitive fight or it could be a one-sided fight by Vasily Machenko. Either way the fight goes, I see Vasily Machenko being victorious, becoming a unified champion. In another weight division, um, but I think these accusations and these claims of Vasily Machenko being uh, one of the greats already is ridiculous. Bobby Aram is ridiculous. You fanboys are ridiculous. You guys are the reason why people don't want to get behind Vasily Machenko. You guys are the reason why people don't want to get behind Vasily Machenko, man. Vasily Machenko is a great fighter. He's a good fighter. But he's not an all-time great yet. The guy hasn't even made it to 20 fights yet. You guys got to let some stuff happen. Because you, you guys are the reason why these guys turn out to be hype jobs. But if a Solomon probably won't be a height job because he has the skills to pay the bills. But we'll see. Only time will tell. Vasilomachenko is a good fighter. I think he beats Jose Pedraza. I think he beats him convincingly. Do he stop Jose Pedraza? Makes him quit? I don't know. I don't see it. Unless he's hitting as hard as Cervante Tank Davis. I don't see him stopping Jose Pedraza. But if he does stop Jose Pedraza... I'm going to give Vasily Machenko all the credit in the world because right now I don't see him stopping Jose Pedraza. But I'm looking forward to this fight. Like I said, Vasily Machenko will win the fight. Can he do it in an impressive fashion though? Like I said, this fight might be close. But if Vasily Machenko is able to dominate, then this guy is the real, real deal. But do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. And donate to my channel, man, if you feel this video deserves some donations. Thank you.